Hang on, don't scroll. It is an absolute privilege and an honor to be sitting here with you this morning. And I know that Valentine's Day is coming up and I just really wanted to quickly talk with you guys about what love is. And not just like romantic love, but what real love is. See, around this time of year, we can tend to romanticize love, but really what it says in the Bible is that love is so much deeper than that. 1 Corinthians 13, four through seven says, love is patient, love is kind. It's not jealous, it doesn't brag, and it is not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. Love does not seek its own, it is not provoked. Love does not take into account a wrong suffered and does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. This verse says, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. I know that in romantic relationships, we can tend to get so caught up in the feelings of it. But what this verse says is that love is more of an action. And this is a very hard thing to do, especially when we've been hurt before. It's so much easier to love selfishly because loving is a pretty big risk. See, it's impossible to love without being hurt. It's the one guarantee if you love somebody. But the thing is, Jesus knew. Jesus knew that everybody that he loved would betray him and he chose to love them anyway. Jesus chose to love them to the most extreme point that anyone could. He died in their place knowing that they wouldn't do the same. If that's not love, if that's not enduring even when it hurts, then I don't know what is. You see, the risk in love is great, but the reward is so much greater. Jesus knew the risk, but cared only about the reward. And that is exactly how we're supposed to love. We're meant to love despite imperfections, despite the risk of being hurt. To love is to be selfless, to be patient, to be quick to forgive and to never hold a grudge, to be kind. To love is to let go of your own desires and instead seek someone else's, to lift them up, to help them succeed, regardless of if they do the same and especially when it hurts you to do so. That is love. And that's exactly what Jesus does for us. So instead of going into Valentine's Day, just thinking about how you can be loved best and thinking about chocolate hearts and roses, think about how you can love others the way that Jesus loved you.